What even is blue raspberry? Food dye enthusiast Professor Jill here, and some of you may have heard that blue raspberry is a completely man-made invention. Some others may have heard that there is actually a real blue raspberry. Blue raspberry flavoring, as you know, is a childhood classic, popping up in candy, Kool-Aid, and slushies everywhere, staining tongues worldwide. But something that even the dumbest kid in your class could find out is that raspberries are not blue. They are, in fact, the opposite of blue. So how did this fruit become associated with such a distinctive neon color? The story of blue raspberry begins in the 1950s, when new food safety laws were being passed regarding the use of certain types of food dyes. One of these products that was in question was Red Number 2, the dye that gave raspberry flavoring at the time its robust red wine look. Trying to put a damper on the skepticism around Red Number 2, the food dye industry funded research that said that the dye was completely harmless. However, due to it literally being funded by the people who made Red Number 2, the research was regarded to be about as trustworthy as those smiling doctors telling you to smoke Lucky Strike. Red Number 2. It's toasted. As the years would go on, it would become clear that several red food colorings, like Red 2, were very likely going to be banned or restricted in the near future. This was a huge problem because there were so many foods that used red food dye. Cherry, watermelon, strawberry, cinnamon, red apple, and of course raspberry were all just different shades of red. Coinciding with all these restrictions on red dyes, the FDA declared that food dye blue number one was permanently listed for food and ingested drug uses. Now this is usually the point in the story where people tell you that raspberries were chosen to go blue because there actually is a blue raspberry. Specifically something called the white bark raspberry. Sounds reasonable. I mean it's a big world, there could be blue raspberries, so pull up a photo of one of these white bark raspberries. Boy, if that is not the most blindingly neon blue berry that has ever existed. But hold on, hold on. So while it does start out as red, it actually should ripen into a deep bluish purple. Also known as black. So I mean, it's, it's not the bluest berry, but I mean it was the inspiration for the flavor, right? While I have not personally had a white bark raspberry, I have been told that they have a flavor profile pretty similar to a blackberry, which is, you know, frankly not that surprising. But also, just to be frank, you know, blue raspberry flavoring doesn't exactly taste like raspberries either. This is because blue raspberry flavoring is not made of raspberries. The blue raspberry flavoring is a cocktail of banana, cherry, and pineapple esters that are close enough for your brain to trick you into believing that, yeah, this is raspberry. So it looks like the reason why raspberry was chosen to go blue was because there was no reason. It was just randomly selected out of the group because we had to have something that wasn't red and it sure wasn't going to be red apple. It's like how the strawberry gummies and hairbo are green. We were running out of colors. Many sources state that the first company to put the blue in the raspberry was a place called Gold Metal Products in 1958. However, this is a claim that is not mentioned anywhere on the website and a spokesperson for the business said that nobody at the company really remembers. But regardless of who invented it, blue raspberry really hit the big time in the 70s when it was introduced as a signature flavor in icing machines. So also around that same time, blue raspberry was also introduced by Otter Pops. What are Otter Pops? Oh, Poverty Pops! The frozen Kool-Aid in a tube, yeah. The official frozen treat of, I got caught in the morning. Today, Blue Raspberry is one of, if not the most popular frozen flavor, selling 132 million 16 ounce Blue Raspberry Icy's every single year. Part of the psychology behind the success of Blue Raspberry is explained by the chemistry work of Melvin DeGroote, who found that color, unsurprisingly, has a large impact on taste, and that children, the main demographic of cavity water, are particularly attracted to vivid bright colors even when they are completely unnatural. Particularly when they are completely unnatural. Noting that children will overwhelmingly drink pink lemonade over normal lemonade, even though that there's no difference in taste, and no lemonade should ever actually be pink. So it looks like that the actual reason why blue raspberry is so popular isn't because it's raspberry flavored, it's because it's blue flavored. This has been Professor Jelly. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe.